one of the most prominent and long-standing voices to champion the powers of superfoods and promote the longevity multiverse. You give expert advice in health, energy, peak performance, nutrition, organic and biodynamic farming, beekeeping, and of course, chocolate. The author of the best-selling books, Eating for Beauty, The Sun Food Diet Success System, and Naked Chocolate, David, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the new studios of London Real. Fantastic, thanks Brian, great to be here. You wanna learn how to understand the world? You wanna understand Amazonian shamanism? He said, grow the plants yourself. Oh, okay, boom, I'm gonna grow those plants myself. And I've been doing that for 20 years and I've learned a lot and it's like a joy. I mean, I'm a farmer, I love farming. You wanna learn how to understand the world? Watching nature grow is one of life's most extraordinary pleasures. So watching trees grow, watching your garden grow, growing those things is just, it's like an original intent. How do you grow a chocolate tree? What's a cashew tree? Where does it come from? How do we fix the soil? How do we plant a tree? How do we make more food? How do we make it work for everybody? I love farming. It's like joy. I'm a farmer. I love farming. The Terrence McKenna lectures, they said, you want to learn how to understand the world? You want to understand Amazonian shamanism? Grow the plants yourself. Oh, okay. Boom. Grow those plants myself. It's a primary experience. There's a level of fulfillment that you get from growing your own food that you can't get any other way. That's why I love it so much. It nourishes you at many levels. It expands your connection to the source of all, to life and the creative force. You know, we first showed up here on the earth, however we got here, something that's very primary and is growing food. It's like an original intent. How do you grow a chocolate tree? What's a cashew tree? Where does it come from? How do we fix the soil? How do we plant a tree? How do we make more food? How do we make it work for everybody? Watching nature grow is one of life's most extraordinary pleasures. So watching trees grow, watching your garden grow, growing those things, it just gives you a deeper sense of what is this food really all about? and what can it do for me, and what can it do for others. Grow it yourself because there's such an amazing amount of information that can only be acquired that way. It's a love and a passion. Watching nature grow, seeing my orchards come into being and becoming like full-grown trees and the harmonies of nature and the patterns of nature, that's how we like to talk about permaculture and farming. Really what I'm doing with the growing trees is it's patterns. We're looking at different patterns. That pattern would look good there, that pattern looks good there. You know, this pattern is nice for over here. This pattern works for this there. It's a type of art. It's like an original intent. You know, we first showed up here on the earth, however we got here, something that's very primary and just growing food. How do you grow a chocolate tree? What's a cashew tree? Where does it come from? How do we fix the soil? How do we plant a tree? How do we make more food? How do we make it work for everybody? The deer are coming, the bears are coming. It's so fun. It's primal and it's really very important part to me of happiness, right? This connection to this fulfillment. What is that? It's happiness. It's a deep level of satisfaction. That's what I want for people. You know, ultimately we want to be happy, but not just like surface happy, like don't worry, be happy but like deep level of happy and contentment and fulfillment.